This one on the left, or your right, maybe, is a 1206 uh, package. And you can see it's pretty small, but compared to the ballpoint pen, you can see it's about the size of the tip. Then next is the 805. And those are pretty easy to solder. The next is the 603. Now these get tricky because you can easily fry these parts, especially when they're LEDs. And that's a capacitor, I think. Uh, I can't really make that out. Then this tiny piece you can see is smaller than the ball on the ballpoint pen. That's a 402, I believe. So I'm going to attempt to solder them onto this practice board. I've already done some. And you can see the, uh, the, the 1206 here, the 805s, the 603s here, the 603s, and the 402 is here. So the 402, it doesn't look that small to solder in, but the part is very, very tiny. So we have no way of knowing if they work. I think they do give you test um, points at the bottom of the um, the row or the at the bottom of the column of the circuit board, the practice circuit board. And also all these work. Uh, these make a spinning light. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. These here, all these parts work. Uh, let me try and get that in your field of view. All those parts work in the middle around that wheel. That's the spinning light. And those are all like 603s. So, um, let's get down to business and solder these guys. The first thing I'm going to do is try to clean off the solder from this pad here. Well, we got most of that. Let's use a little flux. Not only on that part, that pad, but also on the braid, the wick. And we're going to hold the wick with our tweezers. And we're going to try and get this laying on its side so that that goes into the solder. Not enough heat to go through this wick, I think. There we go. All right, the wick is kind of absorbing that solder. All right, well, we're going to call that good enough. And we're going to lay our part on there. Since there's already a blob of solder, I'm going to do this with one method, which is to uh, put 
put the component into the blob of solder and tack it in place. Now this is a big one. This is a 360 ohm resistor. So that solder is not melting too easily. All right, well, we're glad this is only practice. Let's get our solder. And we're using thin, thin uh, solder. And we're going to do the other side. Just touch the solder to the pad and melt it against the side of that component and just touch the soldering iron to the side of the component for a second. Then we're going to flip it around again and repeat this process for the other side. There you go. So that should be good. Next we're going to do the 805. That's this guy here. And I like to use flux. Regardless of what other people say. And that 805 is going to go right, let's go to this one, that one's a little crudded up. So let's go to this one, R13. And there is no uh, solder on the pad. So I'm going to put a little flux, just a dab. I'm going to hold, this is a capacitor. I'm going to hold this in place. First I'm going to lay it in place. Then I'm going to put a little solder on the tip of my soldering iron. And just tack that in place and get it lined up as perfectly as I can. Now this isn't the way I was taught, but it was the way I learned recently. Now that guy is crooked as can be. So we want him to be better. So we're going to heat up that solder and move him into a better place. It looks a little better there. All right. Then we're going to turn that around and solder the other side. And we're going to hold the tip of the soldering iron to the pad, put the solder on it, and also just touch the tip to the part for just a second. That's my theory anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we're going to go back and we're going to redo the first tacking part and make that permanent. So that looks good to me. And let me get that in the center. Let me zoom in on that for you. All 
and you can kind of see that that looks pretty good not perfect but that will work so next we're going to go over here to a 603 that was an 805 and this is a 603 the 603 we have a part that looks like a resistor with no uh, number on it or if the number is on it it's too small for me to see and first we're going to put a little flux down because I like to use flux some guys don't and then we're going to clean our soldering iron We're going to put a little solder on the tip. See that little blob of solder on the tip? We're going to take this little tiny piece, component. We're going to hold it in place as steadily as we can. Now I got my wrist on the table almost. And just touch that in place and let that tack it in place. Now we're going to clean our soldering iron. We're going to turn that around. Hopefully I'll get it in a good spot. Let me move that little tiny one out of the way. That little tiny guy I'm going to move over there. And let's see if we got that in the right spot where you can see it. This is it, R14. Alright, so you can see that about in the middle. Let's get that about in the middle of the picture. R14. And we're going to solder the other, t other side. Again, we're going to hold the soldering iron right on that pad. Just put the solder on. I like to touch the soldering iron to the end of the component for a second just to be sure it, it uh, makes a good joint but some people say don't do that it's up to you I guess or up to who's the expert I'm no expert so where is our part our part is up here there it is, R34. So now I'm going to go back and do the correct, uh, I'm going to correct the side that I used to tack it on with. I'm going to hold the soldering iron on there and just put a little solder on. And you can see I got a little too much solder on there, but I'm going to let that go. These don't have to be totally pretty. I mean, if you were working in an IC factory, they would probably have to be perfect. But if you wanted to clean that, you could use a little solder wick again. Let's see if we can't do that. All right, that's a little better. Just push that right into place. Now, you can see it's not touching on this side. So let's move it a little more accurately. Then we're going to hold it down. Bam. That should be right there.
I don't know, it looks a little to one side. I'm going to try and fix that. That's a little better. Now it's to the other side. Now I'm going to turn it around. Then I'm going to turn it around one more time, and that is by C24. Clean my soldering iron. Just put a little dot of there, and there you go.